Hey everybody, it's Eric at Nailer Field Reviews. As a disc golfer, you can lose a lot of Frisbees and at some point you just get fed up with it and you say, well, maybe I should invest in one of those disc golf retriever thingies that I see the guy throwing in the lake all day long. Well, there might be a better way and today we're gonna do a review on this InZone Quick Stick XLF. This is obviously a different looking disc golf retriever. It extends from 18 inches out to 14 feet and today we're gonna to do a review on this. We're gonna show you how it goes together. We're gonna to show you how well it works and whether or not you should be spending your money on it. So let's check it out right now on Nailer Failed Reviews. Thanks again for joining us in another review video here at Nailer Field Reviews. Now, if you didn't know, I'm a big disc golfer. This is actually my 25th year playing disc golf pretty much all the time. I actually tried to go on tour a few years ago and completely failed, but disc golf is a big part of my life and I actually live right next door to a course. And here in the Denver area, we have a lot of courses to play at. And some of those include some different water canals that run through it and some smaller bodies of water. So I have been losing some discs recently, a lot more than I have in the past. And specifically, I've been losing my, my old Pegasus Frisbees that I really love throwing. I've been throwing these since I was a kid and have picked up any of them that I can find when they come on eBay. So we've got a whole bin here full. I also love running uh, Millennium Frisbees. And so we also have a bunch of old Orion styles that you can't get anymore. And you know, when you lose one of these in a body of water and sometimes you can see it or you have an idea where it's at, you know, you could ask one of those guys who's got one of those retrievers that he throws out there and, hey, can you try to fish that sucker in? But I was tired of doing that and I, and I really hate using those. I've used them in the past. They just sort of are tedious and unless you can really see your Frisbee, it is really just a fishing expedition. So I saw a guy recently, he actually saved my Frisbee out of my local course here there's a, a small water canal that runs through it. This guy ran over there, had one of these, and fished it out really, really quickly. And uh, you know, I said, thanks, and hey, what, what is that retriever that you use? So he showed it to me, and then I went online and I found it. So you can purchase this through our affiliate links down below. We'd really appreciate the, the support. And you know, when I got it in, I was kind of surprised at the way it was constructed. So today we're gonna to go over how it goes together. And before that, I wanted to show you guys, you know, what it is, what it's made out of, and how it's gonna fit inside of your disc golf bag or your over the shoulder bag. You know, as you can see here, anybody who's a serious disc golfer, you end up with tons of Frisbees, because if you lose one, you know, you wanna have more of the same type sitting around. But at a certain point, especially if you, if you throw old Frisbees like I do, then you can't get them anymore. And so retrieving them out of the water becomes a lot more important to you because there are those of us like myself who love our old Frisbees. Some of my stockpiles are losing uh, quantities and so I wanted to get them you know, back from the waterways if I can. So that's why I picked up this quick stick. So what is it? Well, it's aluminum stick that extends and what this actually is, is a golf ball retriever. So this is a pretty cool little product. He's picked up using some other device and then he figured out a, a little shape to make with a piece of quarter inch wire, basically steel wire. It's bent around and then that goes into the head of this and then that's it. Now, the way that he has this go together is, a, is sort of uh, disappointing. It's a, a little bit of a letdown, honestly. Again, coming from a manufacturing background where there's all types of ways to attach two pieces of things together, whether it's a collet or a screw, uh, threads, or anything, pins, uh, set screws. I mean, there's a number of different ways to attach this. None of that applies here. So the way that they want you to attach this thing to this stick is with heat shrink tubes and so they supply you a couple different pieces right here and you can see here on the retriever part that it has these little wings on there and so those go down into there well first you got to put your heat shrink on you'd put both pieces on first and then you put your tube on and then this slides up over it 
goes like that, and then you heat that up, shrink it down, mm -hmm. and then you put a sec the secondary piece over it, heat that up, and shrink it down. Now, because this has an edge on it right here, this little collar, and these little wings here, that is what they're relying on once the heat shrink shrinks down to hold this thing on. Now, again, I, I'm really disappointed in the way that this is made and the way that he has this set up because, again, there are so many other ways that you could have attached this to make sure that you didn't lose it. So my worry is that if I go fishing in a tree or if I go fishing in the lake, it's gonna get snagged on something. You're gonna pull on it eventually. You know, you're gonna try not to, but you're just gonna naturally or, or accidentally pull on it yank on it and it's going to yank this thing right off of there so i can't imagine that this stuff is really going to work super well but after we show you some of this other stuff we're going to put this together and show you how well it does it we got my old trusty uh bag here i forget what the brand is, is again this is an old bag that they don't even make anymore but this has a seat in it so there's a frame in here so it goes in there and you can just see in my cup holder this is what it's going to do so Again, because this head, I'll say, the headpiece does not detach, it's always gonna be on there once you put it together. You're gonna have to deal with that, that piece sort of being you know, wider than your backpack, say, or you know, smacking you in the head. I don't even know, I haven't put this on yet. So you gotta figure out some way to attach it. Just be aware that you are gonna need something to hold this securely in your bag so it's not just flopping over like that. Um, on this side, I do have this strap here, and that's sort of meant for an umbrella or a whatever you might be carrying, so I can cinch that down. I just want to show you guys how that looks on a backpack style disc bag. And then when you're talking about just like a regular over the shoulder bag, um, you know, I don't know where you're gonna put this. So, you know, obviously if you have some water near you and you're saying, okay, well, I'm gonna to commit to carrying one of these things, then maybe you'll just deal with it sticking out of your bag like this, I don't know. <laughs> but, um, you know, there's really, you know, we have a, a cup holder here on one of these old school styles, but you can see this thing's just gonna be waving all around, and if you, you know, jostle it around, I'm sure it's just gonna fall out. So, well, yeah, anyways, <laughs> it's pretty much just gonna fall out of there, so. I don't know how well it will work for people who have just the regular over the shoulder bags. Again, you could, um, you know, I don't know if any of the newer bags today have any anything built in, but you could sort of put some straps on the bag if you wanted to. That way you could carry it horizontally uh, with the bag itself. So anyways, that's how it looks. Um, and now we're gonna put it together and see how well it holds. They supplied me with a white one and a yellow, or a red one and I'm not sure which one's supposed to go first. They don't say in the instructions here, they just say position the tubing, overlap on the ferrule and compression sleeve or the tabs of the yellow hook and uh, use heat shrink to uh, make sure it doesn't wiggle. So anyways, we'll put both of these on. So I'm gonna put the white one on last. You know, it's cooled down now, and I'm gonna show you, I'm just holding, to show you how much wiggle is in this thing. And it seems pretty secure. So, like I said, this is all uh, cool to the touch now. I don't know if you were supposed to put on both pieces of heat shrink, actually. Um, it doesn't say anything in the directions about having two pieces, so maybe it was just a spare, I'm not really sure, but uh, I've got both of them on there, and you know, I guess for the most part, it, it seems uh, like it's in there pretty good. I mean, pulling up on it, you can see the, uh, the tubing flexing. Put it, there you go. You can see right there, it's sort of flexing, but uh, holding it on. So, um, you know, maybe you could go up a little bit more over this uh, the wings here, I just went up as far as the bend. So maybe if you actually uh, wound it over a little bit more, that uh, might secure it a little bit better just because it would be over that section as well. Let's see here. See if you can actually fish a Frisbee out. Just like that. Yeah, bro. 
Okay guys, well that's gonna do it for the review. I'll go out and uh, hit the course now and give you guys a long-term review on this in a few months. So let you know how well it's hold up and to uh, tell you whether or not this head has come detached or not. I just went out in my yard and I threw some Frisbees up in these pine trees and it was just, you know, pretty simple to just extend this thing out and obviously, you know, just sort of poke your Frisbee out of the tree there. Um, but like you say, like you saw me do earlier, sometimes you can kind of fish some Frisbees out of things depending on what they're in. So just to give you sort of a weird example, you know, that if you're Frisbee is stuck, like say in some brush or something. This is kind of nice that you can sort of work at it. Like you see there and look at that. Oh, I got him out. I will note that uh, one thing is when you get this new, that when you're open and extend this a bunch, there's like all this uh, black stuff, like just, I don't know, machine oil or something that comes off on it. So definitely be aware that uh, if you're out disc golfing and you want to keep this crap off your hands, that uh, you clean this up before you take it out on the course, which would basically mean extending it and just wiping it down with, uh, I don't know, brake cleaner or some rummy alcohol or something, or soapy water to really get that off of there. But that was one thing I keep noticing was that my hands uh, come out with all this, uh, like I said, it's like machine oil that's just left over from manufacturing this thing. So anyways, uh, like if you like, subscribe, check out the other videos. Thanks for watching Nailed or Failed Reviews.